All right, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. And we've invited Bella Goth over with Gwen. So real quick, I'm actually going to spend some money and maybe remake Gwen's room a little bit. Just because I feel we probably should. Yeah, eventually I'll give Diego an upgrade too, or I don't know. I'll think of something to do. But I think for now with Gwen, I am totally going to give her room an overhaul because I feel she needs it. Right now, especially since we have Bella Goth over. Uh, let me sell this here. I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about rearranging this, but I want to get her a double bed at the very least. And I might not buy a very expensive one initially, but later on we can totally get her something a little bit better. I'm going to put the easel over in this corner. We'll put the dresser over here. I'm going to try to hide this plum bob right underneath the easel. This one is really just so that she feels inspired whenever she goes to paint. And let's center this here. We'll move this out of her room as much as I love this painting. I don't really think it suits her room that much, so I don't know. I'll just put it by the television for now. I'll probably change the placement of that later. Now the annoying part is having to adjust this. I wish maybe Oh, it'd be cool, like, yeah, if you could select multiple objects at once and then just move them all together. I mean, I guess it's really not that necessary because you don't have to do it that often. Or, I mean, I don't really need that feature all that much. But it'd be kind of cool, yeah, if you could, like, link objects together and make them one object or something. That wasn't too bad, actually. I thought that was going to be a lot slower. We still have a lot of cash left, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go to the bedroom section. I don't know, let's buy, like, a plant or something. You know, maybe we could buy some flowers on top of this dresser. I feel like maybe I should get her a light on the floor as well. So let me go to lighting and let's check out what's on the floor lamp section. Uh, let's see. Is there, you know, I feel like we should stick within the red theme kind of. So yeah, let's filter by the color red. There we go. And hmm, don't have too many options. I think I might go with this one. I've never really used this light before, I don't think, and I kind of like it. It's kind of funky. I feel like she should probably not have carpet in her room. Yeah, I'm going to have her room have this wood floor still. Yeah, I think that just suits her room a little bit better. And then maybe I might think about throwing in some curtains, maybe? These ones are like super theatrical and fancy. Hmm, yeah, I kind of like it on this wall a little bit for some reason. I don't know, just the way that it frames this particular photograph. And maybe I should change this. I think I might have this be brick. And then I want to put this wall with a different pattern. So let me actually filter by red yet again. And just like a patterned wallpaper, not stripes. Maybe this. That's kind of fun. All right, I kind of like that. So I'll stick with it for now. And let's see what else we can buy, because I'm kind of in a decorating like type of mood right now. So let's just roll with it. Hopefully it's fine with you guys. Uh, there we go. We'll put a little plant here. Uh, just some little like, well, let's put that on the other side then. Let's see. Oh, that's what we could buy. Duh. End tables. Those are kind of a thing, right? <laughs> oh, you know what? We could buy ones that match that. Yeah. There we go. Cool. All right, let's pop this down here. I think we should be able to afford to. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Uh, it's a little cramped here. Let's just slightly move it to the right. And by the way, I get asked pretty frequently, like, how do I move objects freely? You just hold down the Alt button. So that's all you have to do. Just hold down Alt, and then you can place objects to wherever you want and make things fit a lot more uh, snug with each other. And... Uh, yeah, it comes really handy, especially with move objects on because you can really get detailed with where you want to put the object placement. So it's a lot of fun to play with for sure. And I think I'm going to put some lights in here. I'm going to put some romantic plumb up. Actually, do we have one? Yeah, we have one in the kitchen. So I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to get two of them. There we go. Okay. Now, you know, maybe a carpet if I can afford like a decent carpet though carpets and I don't get along too much in this game because I'm just not really too happy with the selection that we have but 
Yeah, I'll just put that little carpet under the bed. I know it's a little random. Um, okay. I think I'm good. I just wanted to spend the money and I wanted to remodel Gwen's bedroom, so... I think that looks decent, hopefully. I don't know. So let's go back into live mode. And let's go say hi to Bella Goth. We're going to be romantic with her. Actually, uh, yeah. Oh, so thank you to everyone that let me know, by the way. Uh, apparently, it works just like The Sims 3, and I did not realize this was the case, because I don't really think I had... Well, I've had Sims cheat on each other before, but I don't think I've ever had it go to the point where I've tried to give convince someone to break up with their previous partner. But yeah, so eventually, once the relationship is high enough, they will be able to ask the other sim to basically break up with their current lover. Now Gwen is kind of hungry so let's have her go eat some food that way she can eat and still flirt with Gwen or with Bella excuse me at the same time so it'll be convenient. Where's she going? There she goes. Is she gonna sit down on the bed? She's thinking about Gwen already. Uh let's go over there we'll go make a flirtatious joke. Let's enable this emotional aura by the way and then we'll disable this one. Oh nope. Okay, that's fine. You guys can chit-chat in the kitchen. That's fine. It's not the most ideal situation where you guys would be talking to each other. But talk to her. You guys are just sitting here awkwardly. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So she's still feeling flirty. That's good. That means our romantic interaction should be successful still. And you know what? Actually, yeah, they've already kissed. So I think we're good. I think as long as... She's in a good mood. She should react positively to all of these romantic interactions. So I'm going to just keep uh, building that up. And oh, no, actually, maybe not all of them are going to go so successfully. She kind of seemed a little upset there for some reason. Oh, I, I don't think she likes the risque questions. I guess that's a little bit too forward for her. And now she's feeling energized. Oh, whoops. What is she doing? We're doing the pickup line. Uh Oh, OK, we'll try to do a smooth recovery. Obviously, we were a little bit too forward. That's my bad. I guess we should have played it slow. But I think the smooth recovery went well. So, it's all good. <laughs> and at least neither of them are... Well, she's feeling slightly embarrassed. But that could have gone a lot worse, for sure. And their relationship didn't get harmed too much. So, we'll just have to wait. And look at that. They've become good friends. Awesome. Well, we don't have too many romantic interactions anymore, maybe because I messed it up, my bad. But we can at least raise their relationship overall. And eventually, once we keep pursuing this, like I said, we will be able to actually convince her to leave Mortimer Goth. And then that's when things will get real interesting, for sure. When does Gwen go to work, by the way? Okay, so she doesn't go to work for another couple days, good. For Diego, he goes to work in 10 hours, and Kimigo goes to work in 9. So I'm going to go to work with Diego today, hopefully, if we get to that point. Because I want him to invent the satellite dish for sure. We need to get that going. And also, both of them are relatively close to getting promoted. So it's possible we might get two promotions today, which would be really nice. Because I feel like uh, we've been climbing it at a kind of slowish pace. I don't know, there were some days where I feel like I could have um, had their days go a little bit better and had them get promotions, but... Oh well, you win some, you lose some. And she's thinking about going to Spice Woohoo, so let's go see. Oh, we have another Smooth Recovery option. I think because she had the Embarrassed Moodlet. But now that the Embarrassed Moodlet is out of the way, maybe we can be a little bit more successful. There she goes talking about those handcuffs again. Oh my god. Well, now that Gwen ate some food, let's have them go sit on the bed together, actually. That way they can, like, do the Smooth recovery um, while they're sitting on the bed maybe or we can try to do those other interactions where they can like try to make a move and now that they're feeling flirty you know maybe this will be good uh, let's compliment her appearance I like how Gwen's about to pass out real soon we'll do a sexy pose while sitting down and we will also uh, go ahead and try to make a move and see how Bella Goth reacts to this I'm not too sure if she's going to react positively or not, but we'll just have to wait and see. Is it going well? I think so. Oh, it totally went well! Okay, cool. Wow, that was actually kind of surprising. I didn't think that was going to work for a moment. But, awesome! Let's go and confess attraction if we can. Oh, we can tease flirtatiously. Let's do that. We can whisper sweet nothings. Okay, good. Now we have all of these different interactions. 
I was like, where did they all go? But uh, I think it's... Oh, there we go. Now we have the woohoo interaction. So that's all I wanted to see if we could do today with Bella Goth. If that is successful, then that's great. They can do that and then Gwen can just go to bed, have a good rest, and get prepared to go back to work in a couple of days. Actually, oh, you know what? Since she has a day off... Wait, why is it saying she works in two days when she works in one? Right? Yeah, it's... What? I don't know. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, maybe I'm misreading this. I probably am. But once we have, like, a day off, I'll have someone go to the retail shop. That way... Actually, they're all pretty busy. Dang. Um... Hmm... Well, maybe tonight. Yeah, once Diego gets back home from work, maybe we can have Gwen go back to the shop before she goes to work again tomorrow. Yeah, that way we can sell our paintings. And awesome. So yeah, Bella got and Gwen. Uh, she's a fi well. She's already been cheating on Mortimer. Really. Whoa. The game just sped up out of nowhere. It's like okay, bye, Bella Goth. Like get out of here. I didn't do that. That just went automatically on its own. <laughs> that was intense. Now Diego. Oh, you got to work in three hours. Let's wake you up, dude. Let's. Uh, or actually, you're almost done getting all your rest. So that's fine. We'll let you catch up on that, and then we'll have you go. And have we had you bake anything lately? Uh, you know what? Go make some oatmeal cookies. That way you can try to level up your hunger. Or not your hunger, excuse me. Your baking skill and raise your hunger at the same time. Hopefully he'll finish it before he has to go to work. There we go. He's reached level 3 of the baking skill. We're going to have Kimiko go to work alone. But we'll have her work hard. Hopefully she'll get promoted. So it says he can make uh, plain bagels, wheat loaves, fruit pie, blueberry bagels, peanut butter cookies, onion bagels... And we can also bake fruit tarts and fruit muffins at the Cupcake Factory. In addition to that, we can also decorate cookies, cakes, and cupcakes to improve their quality. Well, that's cool. Now, he is going to go to work very soon. Let's have him grab a serving of his cookies. Let's get rid of all these other dishes. Where is our bookcase again? Oh, that's in Kimiko's room. They keep leaving their books all out everywhere for no reason. It's rude. <laughs> but awesome. Okay, we're going to go to work with Diego. And right away... I might ignore the performance stuff at the top left briefly, and I'm going to hope that we have enough materials uh, to create the satellite dish. That way we can try to influence Diego to get abducted and get pregnant soon. Because yeah, that's what we're going to do. That way, Himiko will have a kid with Alfonso, Diego will get impregnated by an alien, and then Gwen will adopt a kid, and it'll all be wonderful. I think in the next part, that's when I'm going to focus on Kimiko maybe uh, getting engaged with Alfonso, and then the part after that we can have a wedding. That way we can get the ball rolling to have a kid soon. So, oh by the way, someone has been creating this mod actually with Get to Work where you can actually send your kids to school. So if that mod, once it's released, I would like to show that off in this Let's Play for sure, because I kind of feel it's sort of related, you know, like having your sims go to work and also like having your children go to school. It looks like a really impressive mod and I want to check it out for sure. So we're over here, let's head on over to this 3D printer, let's go to invent device, and, oh wait, 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 do we not have, oh wow, oh my god, I thought that we had the breakthrough to actually create the satellite dish, but we totally don't, have we made all these things in this let's play, I know we made the sim rate, yeah, we've made all of our inventions already, okay, my bad, I thought that we actually had the schematics to create a satellite dish, but we don't yet. Really hoping we do soon though, because I am just so eager for Diego to get a baby bump and deliver a baby. Well, we will just have to try to make some different serums then. Do we have the serums for, uh, or the ingredients for the rose perfume? I don't think so. So we just need some roses. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's our rose bush. Oh my god, rest in peace. It is, like, so dead. Actually, can't we ask a co-worker to, like, garden for us? You, over here. Let's see. Friendly. Uh, well, I'm gonna ask you for a crystal and also for a metal. And, uh, yeah, we're still chatting with the robot. Oh, we don't need to do that anymore. Come on. Stop talking with him. Let's go ask our co-worker for some materials real quick. I can't remember. Is this a guy that we froze? I'm not sure. It's been such a long time since we've come back to the workplace. I'm like, I don't know who we froze. 
But what did he give us? So he gave us some heavy metal, sweet. And he also gave us, what else did he give us? Uh, orange, uh, topaz, awesome. All right, go, 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 go. We need to go and save that rose bush. We need to get it eventually. I guess, you know, I could purchase seeds. Yeah, let's get some flower seeds and maybe I can get lucky and get some uh, rose seeds from here. So we'll open these packets. Uh, don't water all of the plants. I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time doing that. We also have to analyze a fruit or flower. So we can collect a microscope sample from this. And then let's open this again. So we got uh, daisies. Do we not have... No roses, unfortunately. Well, at least we've nurtured this back. Uh, actually, let's weed it. That way it can bloom. And we can eventually create the rose uh, perfume serum, which will be nice. I love how they whistle when they garden. It's so cute. Okay. Uh, did we get the sample? Yes, we did. We got a plant slide. So we're going to go over here and we're going to analyze the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I thought that we were going to be like... Oh, wait, no. Is this right? Analyze plant sample. I think that works because or flower what uh, my bad i think it's actually asking me to use this <laughs> yeah to analyze the flora right well okay let's do that then or maybe both register i completely forgot that this object exists by the way it's from the base game so i'm like i got confused for a moment <laughs> i thought it was telling me to use this machine but i think it wants me to use this one we'll find out in just one moment Oh no, he's feeling unchallenged, but we're going around, we're doing a whole bunch of things over here. Okay, there we go, that's fine. We did that, now we have to work on the rocket for 10 minutes. Oh yay, we got to go work on a rocket! Let's go do that then. That's awesome, because rockets are really expensive in this game. Uh, you know what though, eventually, once Gwen keeps raising up her painting skill, and once we, you know, improve our retail shop, I want to, like, is it worth it? Uh, because some of you, or actually a lot of you, have way more experience with the retail shop stuff than I do. Um, is it worth it to eventually actually increase the market price to 100%? I'm assuming that if we, you know, eventually get all the different perks and stuff to become like a better salesperson or something like that, that we could probably actually get away with that maybe? I'm not sure. Because then we can make a lot of cash. I mean, painting makes a lot of money in general. Because once you get to the higher levels and if you make masterpieces, it's like amazing how much money you can make. And I can only imagine when you sell a masterpiece where 100% markup, like how much money that is. That's incredible. But uh, that won't be for a while. Because obviously, <laughs> we're still in the very early stages of our retail shop. And Gwen... Still has a little bit more to go with her painting skill, though granted she's made a lot of progress with that already. Now let's go gossip. Yay! <laughs> I love how it's like, honestly, it's- oh there's Haley. Th that's right, that's our co-worker. We already knew she was a uh, co-worker of Diego's. I just uh, realized she was over there and she's not wearing an outfit, like, is she? She's just gonna work in her casual wear. What's up with that? Huh. We should go introduce ourselves to her really quick. And, uh, quickly, excuse me. Let's go find Lori. Where's Lori? I don't know where he is. This place is so big. <laughs> I've been thinking of maybe going to the gallery and getting a smaller science laboratory, to be honest. But then again, a lot of these objects are really big. So it's, uh, kind of necessary to do this. But, okay, I see Haley. Uh, that's not... Uh, where is this person? Who are you? Kaden, what the... I am really blind right now, aren't I? Oh, there we go. There's someone here. No, that's not you. <laughs> Are they downstairs? Where do they go? <laughs> Who the hell is Lori? And where is Lori? Oh, I hate you, Lori. I don't even know where you are. And I dislike you already just because you're so hard to find. Or I just, I'm, I'm blind, which makes sense. I should probably be wearing my contacts right now. Oh, is that her? Oh my God, there she is. <laughs> Oh my god, Lori, Lori, Lori. I don't know why I just could not find you. Anyways, let's go gossip. Everybody's running to the bathroom. Diego has to use the restroom too. This is an awkward situation. This place, oh, no, oh god, that's a little bit too comfortable there, dude. Yeah, just like, <laughs> I guess he really had to go. <laughs> Did not mind at all that he was like being barged in. 
Uh, let's go talk with her. Where's Lori? Oh, right, Lori! Oh my god, how could I forget about you, Lori? I am so sorry, guys. It's been such a long time since I played with this save file. I forget everything about it. Also, probably doesn't help that I'm recording this right when I wake up. <laughs> but yeah, Lori, oh no, we're not like friends with her anymore. But, uh, well, we never really were, but she's sweet. You know, she was the first coworker that we really interacted with, and we asked her for a crystal first, I think, and she was kind enough to give us one. And uh, they actually, if you have a bad relationship with them, I believe they will actually not give you a crystal or metal. Because one time I kept trying to kill a coworker of mine in the game and I kept freezing them. So obviously their relationship wasn't the best. And wait, I th oh, gossip about coworkers. I did the wrong interaction. I'm like, why didn't it register? That's okay. I still like gossiping with her. It's all good. But yeah, no, let's gossip about those co-workers. And then after that, we really need to get them to the restroom as soon as possible. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to go terribly wrong. But yeah, anyways, negative relationship. Probably not going to get a crystal or metal from them. <laughs> now, we got to tinker with the coffee maker. Is that upstairs? There it is. Let's go do that then. We'll go tinker away. And then while we're up there, we may as well have a bit of a lunch break since he is kind of hungry. Well, actually, wait, I thought, did we not even gossip about the co-workers? I did the interaction, but I don't think he went through with it. Oh, gossip. Come on. <laughs> don't you want to gossip? Go do it. Just go, go, go. I know you're hungry, but I need you to get promoted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Or you know what? We'll just extend our time then. Or I won't do that yet. Maybe we can still get a gold before then. Let's go. We'll buy a snack. Go treat yourself to a sandwich. I want a sandwich right now. I'm pretty hungry. Oh, and Kimiko, well, damn, she did not get promoted today, but she's doing pretty decent. I mean, she's kind of almost there to getting promoted. While she's over here, oh, I can't have her actually build a skill. Oh, I'm going to have her build her painting skill. I should have been doing that from the start. My bad. But let's go eat some food. Why is he coming all the way downstairs to eat food? What are you doing, dude? What the hell was that all about? You're drunk. <laughs> That was such a weird padding issue. What the hell was that? Then again, The Sims is pretty like infamous for that, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised now that I really think about it. Oh, um, let's go chat with our coworker yet again. <laughs> Since that's like, oh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's go analyze a metal. To be honest, let's do that. I think that'll help us out more. Let's go analyze that heavy metal that we got earlier. Check out what it's all about for a moment. And the reason I really want him to get promoted, that way we can make new inventions, because uh, until then, we're just going to be analyzing metals and gossiping with coworkers. So, you know, we need that promotion for sure. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure if we're going to be able to get a promotion. We might, I mean, we have level two, like done, the silver medal or whatever you want to call it. So we'll, we'll have to see. I think we should be able to hopefully get that promotion. I'm going to just try my best to complete as many little objectives at the top left that I can before this is all done with. Awesome! Okay, good. So we did the best job we possibly could. I'm really happy with that. Let's go analyze a plant sample. Off we go. And uh, I think he should get promoted. Awesome! And then he'll have to have a couple more breakthroughs, and then we should be able to uh, make the satellite dish. Awesome! Okay, so we did get the promotion. We're a serum sequencer. He will, I, like, it didn't really make a fancy promotion noise. I was kind of confused if we got promoted or not for half a second. I was like, uh. <laughs> oh, and yes. Okay, cool. We got a chemistry lab uh, with the promotion. Awesome. So our next shift will be Tuesday at 10 in the morning. Well, let's accept this. And yeah, I think that what we got is the thing to analyze, like, the plant and make the serums, which is good. Because that helps us save some cash. Because normally... That object's a couple thousand simoleons, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have to just wait and see once we get back home and check out what's in our household inventory. Let's go check it out. Oh, we got some bills. Thankfully, we can afford it. Yeah, see, here it is, the chemistry lab. Oh, it's only, a th I mean, a thousand simoleons, so at least we get to save that. And, oh, Kimiko being so nice, clean up his mess. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was so disgusting and dirty. Goodness. Now there is Gwen, uh, let's have her go, and we should definitely have her do some paintings, 
What were we doing last time? We were doing abstract, right? Oh, we already have a whole bunch of abstract paintings. Um, you know, I know that people say that the pop art paintings, they don't sell for very much, but I like the look of them. So I'm going to paint some and just that way we can hang up some like custom art around this area with Gwen. What time is it, by the way? It's 9 p.m. I think all of them go to work tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah, it works in 13 hours, 12 hours. Okay. So, yeah, I don't, I think it might be not worth it to open the shop so late at night. Uh, everyone gets home pretty late. Or actually, okay, tomorrow we can go to work with, uh, hmm, who should we go to work with? I guess with Kimiko, she should hopefully get promoted on her own. I mean, her performance is pretty high. I feel with we, we should go to work with Gwen tomorrow. That way we can try to improve her work performance. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly positive which way to go about this. But uh, either way, we will go to work with one of them. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow, if we go to work with either of them, they'll be back home like at 6 or 7-ish. And then we can totally open the shop tomorrow. So tomorrow, yeah, we'll go to work with one of them and we'll go to the shop and we'll try to sell some of the abstract paintings that we've created. So that should be pretty good. And also, we can check out some of the new baking uh, stuff. Because we unlocked a bunch of new stuff that we can bake, which is awesome. Alright, cool. But uh, anyways, that is all for now. And I will see you all next time.